From the projections page, if you click on the settings gear just below the slates and game section, you'll get a list of additional options available to you. These aren't as commonly used, but we'll take a look through all of these so you can get a better understanding. The first one is show chart options. Selecting this will give you a pop-up window that lets you choose between advanced and basic charts. You'll default to the advanced chart view, but you may want to take a look at the basic chart. Click basic and you'll see the legacy charts that now show up in the background. Let's close out of this to take a closer look. Compare this legacy chart to the advanced chart and you'll notice that this projection in green versus scored in blue is already included in the advanced chart. Legacy charts are just an alternative way to look at the same data. In the chart options page, you can also show or hide the charts. Click on this and you'll see a condensed list of players with all of the previous information with the exception of the charts. Let's just change this back to the default for now. The next option is show all players. Players projected to get zero points are turned off by default because they're generally not expected to play today. I'll add a quick filter here by removing one of these teams and you'll see that the total salary results are 263. If I click show all players, it quickly changes this list to 761. Remember this option if there is particular player data that you're unable to find since it may be filtered due to this option. Export projections. If you would like to export projections to a CSV file, click here to save this file locally to your hard drive. Import projections allow you to re-import the CSV file, but the file format must match the exported projection file. You can only modify the override column shown here, and the values must be a whole number. For example, 5, 2, 10, etc. You can also make custom adjustments to the computed projections by tapping the green box on the projection. If you're not happy with your adjustments, you can clear all of these by selecting Clear My Projections, which will return to default projections for all players. You can also clear all of your loves and hates by clicking this option. This will undo all of your loved and hated changes. For example, let's say I click Love on Alan Cordoba. This will force a player into your lineups. If you click Hate, it will reject that player from any generated lineups. Oftentimes, you'll see a number superset over the love-hate indicator. This is a FanSense crowdsource indication telling you how many other players love or hate this particular player. If you want to delete all of your created lineups, you can delete lineups for the selected sport, site, and period. Remember to check out our more detailed tutorials on projections, charting, filtering, sorting, and loving and hating players.